moving on to the next example, we have to show that the tangents on the function 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 at an x value of 1 and at an x value of 7 over 12 are perpendicular. So before we get into the mechanics of this question, let's show visually what's going on. So if we take that function 3x squared minus 4x minus 4, that actually factors smoothly into 3x plus 2 and x minus 2. So it's a parabola that opens up and it has x-intercepts of positive 2 and negative 2 over 3. So what we have to show is that the tangent on this function at an x value of 1, so that's uh, this red line here, that's the tangent on the function at an x value of 1, is perpendicular to the tangent at an x value 7 over 12 which is this tangent in green here. So this tangent in green is the tangent on this function f of x at an x value 7 over 12. And we have to show that these two tangents are perpendicular to each other, that they make a 90 degree angle with each other. Now this drawing is not the best, it's not the most to scale, but uh, you get what's going on here. We just have to show that these two tangents here at these x values on this function are perpendicular to each other. And we know that two lines that are perpendicular to each other have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. So if we can find the slopes of these tangents, and then if we show that the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other, then we know that these two tangents are perpendicular to each other. So let's do that. Now, we have the function 3x squared minus 4x minus 4, and how can we find the slope of a tangent? Well, we can find the derivative. So the derivative of this function, we would apply the power rule to each of these terms separately. So the derivative of 3x squared is just 6x, the derivative of negative 4x is just negative 4, and then the derivative of negative 4 is just 0. So this here, 6x minus 4, is the derivative of this function, so the derivative gives us the slope of any tangent on this function at any x value. So if we want to find the slope of the tangent of this red tangent here at an x value of 1, we would just find the value of the derivative at an x value of 1. And if we plug in 1 into the derivative, 6 times 1 is 6 minus 4 is 2. And then if we want to find the slope of this green tangent here at an x value of 7 over 12, well, we would just plug in 7 over 12 into the derivative. So 6 times 7 over 12 minus 4. So 6 goes into 12 twice. 7 over 2, which is 3.5 minus 4, gives us negative 1 over 2. So the slope of this line, the red line here, is 2, and the slope of this green line here is negative 1 half. And notice how both of these are negative reciprocals of each other, because 2 is the same as like 2 over 1, so the reciprocal of that is 1 over 2, and then adding the negative, we'd get negative 1 half. So because these two slopes are negative reciprocals of each other, we know that these two tangents are perpendicular. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.